Hi, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor.net. Today, I'm excited to introduce a brand new release from one of my favorite lines, Hourglass, and this product is the Femme Nude Lip Stylo. This lip color is a brand new creation for the Fall 2013 collection, and I have had this on my radar for a while now. As soon as I had heard that Hourglass was going to be releasing a series of nude lip products, I was extremely thrilled because my penchant for nude lip color is out of control. I gravitate towards most pale pinks and nudes and beiges when it comes to lip products. And I am happy to introduce two shades in this very video. I had the privilege and opportunity to be able to see all six shades in person, to swatch them, and then to receive two of the shades a little early because I attended a Hourglass blogger preview last night in Venice Beach. It was absolutely delightful to learn more about the line firsthand and meet so many people who are passionate about Hourglass, including the creator of the line, Carissa James, who is a wealth of information and definitely is somebody who truly cares about the line that she's created. So I found the entire event inspiring and certainly am thrilled to be able to talk more at length about these notorious nude shades that I have. Quickly, a word on the formula of these lip stylos. This is a satin finish, which means that it's not overtly shiny, but it's also not so matte that it's drying. And I love the texture on the lips. I'm going to get close. I'm wearing number three right now. I like the fact that because it's not so shiny, it does stay put, but I would like to emphasize the fact that it does feel very hydrating, despite the fact that it does appear slightly matte, and I suppose that's why it's categorized as a satin. I think it's a perfect texture for a line of expressly nude lip color, and I am going to go ahead and share the ingredients list on my blog so that you can get a closer look at what's included. The six shades in this new release comprise the Notorious Nudes. And I have pictures of all six shades as well as a copious amount of swatches on my blog. So please take a peek, especially if you're ordering online and are curious about which of the six would suit you best. But I will describe at length shades number one and number three, which I have in my possession right this moment. So number one would be the lightest shade in the series of six, and number six ends up being the very darkest. That very reasonable and logical numbering system is greatly appreciated, and it made my swatching and labeling a lot easier as well. So number one is a very pale pink, and I... I'm going to swatch it right here on my lower wrist, and I'm going to juxtapose it next to number three, which is a light pink with some peachy undertones. Perhaps in the tubes, and I'll show you what I mean, you might see these two and think to yourself, wow, they look awfully similar, and with the naked eye, they do indeed. But once swatched, they're very unique differences in terms of undertone and overall shading come across nicely. This is number one, and this is number three. And as mentioned before, I have number three on my lips right now. And I find that number one reminds me a lot of Tom Ford Nude Vanilla in terms of its pale opacity. It's creamy, but it's slightly different in terms of undertone. It has a little bit more pink than the Tom Ford Nude Vanilla, which has what I would consider a slightly peachier undertone. And then number three, I can't think of it a lips color in another line that is as similar to number three. I like that it's definitely unique on its own, and it, it comes to life because it's got that peach undertone. Applying these lip stylos is extremely enjoyable because of its remarkable packaging. So it comes in a very sturdy tube, and the lip stylo itself is up here, kind of like a crayon, if you will, with a naturally built-in inherent point. And it is retractable. You twist here to release more product, so you don't need to sharpen it. And here's a quick example of what I mean in terms of how easy it is to reveal more product. I'm just twisting at the bottom, and more comes up. 
but because I don't need that yet, I'm falling back into place. It works really well. This is a well-crafted lipstick mechanism. I wanted to mention briefly that all this Hourglass love inspired me to bust out my Hourglass Ambient Light Powder in dim light, which is perfect for my summer skin right now. So I have a coating of that on my face, just a light dusting, I should say, and it is doing the trick to create a seamless skin finish uh, to create a canvas that is perfectly complementary to nude lipstick. If you are in the market for a creamy, satin finish, opaque, hydrating, enjoyable lip color, then I highly recommend the Hourglass Femme Nudes. They should be anywhere that Hourglass is sold in the very imminent future, so keep your eyes peeled. And in the meanwhile, I will have swatches of all six shades on my blog. I welcome your questions and your comments. I hope you found this review helpful. And please don't forget to visit me at Beauty Professor, which can be found at www.beautyprofessor.net. Take care.